The swell's just kind of pushed you forward. It's nice. It's kind of like being in a wave pool. All of a sudden, you just get a little shove and you go and the floaty takes you away. See? Yeah. I did one big one. I almost felt like I could surf here. Bathrobe Monday mornings. Oh, well, there you go. You show gonna... everybody what you found? Sure, is had a little bit of room service delivered since we're going to get off the ship quickly. So, we have uh, a traditional breakfast and a little bit of continental, some fruit. I'm not quite sure what's in here. It said an assortment of pastries, so I'm not sure what they brought us. Oh, a little croissant and a Danish. There we go. Hmm. I'm gonna leave some coffee and some tea and some juice. Yeah. Okay, get to this so we can get going on our day. Looks like we're here at Half Moon Key. Oh, look at that. You can see if you look closely on the tender on the front, these are shuttles that are just for Half Moon Key, which kind of helps speed up the process. So the tenders are running and we are just getting our stuff packed up to get off and we're only here for a short time today. Yeah. We are here. It's 8 o'clock now. By 12.30 we have to be back on the ship, so we don't have a lot of time. Yeah, but we're going to have a good time. Yeah, That'll so good. we're going to do that, get back, and then we'll have an afternoon on the ship. Deck A is one deck below deck number one. The speakers on and this ship are unusually area, loud. We must use the midship staircase. I don't think I've ever heard speakers in the hallways as loud. See how loud it is? If you have this one at all, please check Very your e-ticket. 373 degrees Fahrenheit, 423 degrees Celsius. We're able to... Head, Watch my head too. My step and my head. Woo. We are on the tender. This is actually the ship. Yeah. How many times can you touch the ship? Should I touch the ship? Yeah. There you go. The ship. You did it. <laughs> uh, I think we're kind of back there right now, so I don't think we just look like shadows. Okay. Anyways, go that way. I'll get the fancy camera out and you take a ride. How's your tender ride? It's good. It's so smooth. It wasn't very tender. <laughs> it was a little wavy, lots of swells. There's lots of swells I'm out there. Not sure if that today. came out in the camera very well, but yeah, lots of swells. We're going our secret way. Take a quick left. When you come through the area where the excursions in the port is, you come down this secret little road. Kind of looks like you're going back towards the tender area. Yeah. And then up here, you take a little bit of a right and you come out at the kids area, which will probably be very busy today. We've been here when there's been a zero kids, but yeah. I suspect that won't be the case. No, I think it'll be full. That's where we just got off the tender, right over there. I see the kids area, we must be getting close. Ooh, there's a big monster freighter that's gonna hide a view of our uh, ship. We're not gonna get those pretty ship views in the background today. The Bahamas Express is in the way. I'll show you what I mean. Okay, Mrs. Canuck is going to test the water out. Let's see what she thinks. You can, in the background, see our beautiful freighter that's hiding the view of our, our ship's just over the edge there. How is it? Chilly. It's chilly? Yeah, a little bit. So, a bit of an update on our snorkel location here at Half Moon Key. You can see the freighter. Oh, I got water chasing me. <laughs> You can see the little cabana area that's over my shoulder there. The best snorkeling is usually just past that cabana along that little bit of a rock wall, but they've oh, decided yeah. to block it off so you can't get there. They have these uh, swimming markers in the way. So. I guess because of whatever's going on there, because it looks yeah. like they're unloading off of that freighter. So we aren't sure we're going to get the best 
snorkel footage. That's a little bit of a shame. It's usually really good for snorkeling here. Right. But I guess we'll go try. There's usually a swimming platform out there. And under that is where you find all those nasty barracuda that chase me when I'm here. Swimming platform? Yeah, but it's oh, not there that's either. that's true. They do have that for the people that rent that, yeah, that so cabana. Yeah, kind of a change here at Half Moon Key. Mm -hmm. So, anyways, we'll see what we find. If nothing, I guess we're going to just have to eat. Eat? <laughs> we can float. <laughs> I brought my floaty. We can float. We're yeah. not going to eat. No, not right now. <laughs> okay. Oh, the sun's coming out. Okay, we're here in the white sand of Half Moon Key. Beautiful. Yes. Mrs. Canuck has deemed that it's not warm enough to swim. Isn't that an odd statement? Well, it's not that it's not warm <laughs> enough, but I thought I'd walk the beach while I'm dry right now and then go back and start snorkeling. It is a little chilly first thing in the morning, so it's letting the sun come up a little bit more before I get in. Uh, excuses, excuses. But there are some brave people already in the water, yeah, so it's lots not of that people bad. In the water. I would have went in. Oh, yeah, sure. You know me. Mr. Scaredy Cat would have been Dying the first to get one in, in there. Yeah. No. Anyways, we're going to walk the beach for a little bit and feel a little bit of this white sand in our toes. Yeah. See what there is here. See if anything's changed. I do see the pirate ship coming up, but for those that haven't seen us vlog this area before, we'll show you in a few seconds when we get down there. Yeah. Okay. We're here. We are. Wish we could stay here forever. I think we're going to climb the pirate ship. Take a look at over Half Moon Key. I see the cannons there. Mm -hmm. Symbolizing one of the great cruise ship wars. Oh, stop. Not again. If you haven't seen the new Stottendam vlog, go on back, watch it, and I explain all about Holland uh, America and Carnival and Fun Ship Freddy and how there was a battle of cruise ships in this area. And it's all lies. And Carnival eventually won, but the details are in the vlog from the new Stottendam series. So <laughs> I won't go through that. As a result, this pirate ship was here. It is the remnants of that great cruise ship war <laughs> when Carnival Corporation and PLC started taking over the cruising world. Pretty flowers. They are. We're just here beside the pirate ship. Now you used to be able to climb the pirate ship. Mm -hmm. No, not climb it, but you go upstairs and go to the second level and have beautiful views across here. But it's closed looks like they blocked right it now. off that you can't so get up the top of the pirate ship anymore. I don't anymore. know if it's just that we're here really early and they haven't opened it up, if they're going to open it up later on, but because uh, we were the first tender of people to get on, on the know. island. So. It doesn't, doesn't look like but it's... But we'll go ask. We're trying to find out. Yeah, let's go we'll ask. Let you know if you can still get up the pirate ship. We have checked with some of the staff here at the pirate ship and it is official. You are no longer allowed to go up to the top part of the pirate ship for some reason. That's too bad because that was a beautiful view from up there. They said, if you go back and watch our new Stottendam, maybe even our Rotterdam, yeah, we were here and we went up there and got some footage overlooking the entire beach. Okay. We're going to keep exploring and see what else we can find here. The cabanas are just down this way behind me. That's the cabanas you can rent. They were all booked solid. In fact, there was a bunch the whole way down the beach here. Ooh, what look at these waves. You guys are going to be underwater soon. <laughs> They're coming up already. <laughs> You'll be floating, that's right. Good morning, how are you? Good. We are gonna give this snorkel thing a try. It is trying to rain a little bit here. And if it rains much harder, I'm a little worried the camera I'm talking to you on isn't really all that waterproof with the microphone on it, so. If you see some glitchy stuff on the screen and all of a sudden we disappear, you know the rain killed the camera. There you go. How do you look with your snorkel snorkel? Oh yeah, it's a nice look. Hey, people got your floaty in different colors, I see. Yeah, if you need a floaty for Half Moon Key, you have to go to our uh, cruisingcanucks.ca website. And we have uh, a link for all the different things that we use when we vlog, including the floaties here that we use at the beach and all the camera gear, including the camera that might not survive the rain, but we'll see. Fingers crossed. Ah, just that water hit some sensitive parts. I don't see any fish yet. Let's see what this is connected by. Okay, I just heard someone in the distance say that they just saw some barracudas. Now, there used to be this floating platform that was out here, and underneath the floating platform in the shade was uh, usually a whole school of barracuda. So they took away the floaty thing. I was hoping that means there'd be no barracuda. But fear that's not the case. I'm trying to keep up with Mrs. Canuck. She is snorkeling that way towards the big cabana. I'll show you the cabana. You can rent this thing out. 
The cabana usually looks a little bit better. And there's not a big freighter hanging out beside it. So. Snorkel, snorkel over here. Any fish yet? Oh, I just got a one sign. I think that means one fish. Hopefully it's not one barracuda. Okay, we're all closer to the cabana now. I hear there's lots of fish. I can even see them now, but oh, the water's getting up to past the waist now. We're getting deeper. There we go. This is a snorkel right there. Oh, trying to get me wet. see if I can get out towards these buoys to show you what we're talking about. Mrs. Canuck is right out by the very far edge here. Let me show you. It's crazy. There's crazy. All the fish are out there, but I'm sure they're going to blow their whistle if I get out here. The crater, this line is stopping us from going anywhere. And Mrs. Canuck reports that there's tons of fish just right beyond the line here. So well, there's some cute little ones that are in and around the rocks here, but I really wish I didn't have this this uh, rope barring me off because the best is out that way. But I'm not sure if I'm going to get a whistle blown at me if I do go over that line or not. There What's was your a vote? Guard there earlier, but I don't does see she, anybody now. Does she go for it and get a whistle blown at her? <laughs> yeah. Anyways. But there is some nice ones here, so I'm going to go back and oh, look at them. I guess. Sounds like the verdict is no. We're not rule breakers today. Well, if they weren't working on that boat, I probably would go, but they are moving things out there, so uh. I don't want to be in an active work zone. Yeah, <laughs> a little disappointing, though. The Canuck is avoiding active work on her holidays. <laughs> That's right, active work. <laughs> Take it that way. How'd your snorkel snorkel? Well, I, it got better as I kept persevering. I found a barracuda that led me to a school of fish, little tiny clear whitey ones. Anyways, there were hundreds of them and I was just able to float around following them around with them. Well, that was great. And we had, I had a good time. The swells just come and push you forward. It's nice. It's kind of like being in a wave pool. All of a sudden you just get a little shove and you go and the floaty and <laughs> takes you away. See? Yeah. I had one big one. I almost felt like I could surf here. <laughs> Fired up the music. It must be party time here on Half Moon King. Sun's out. Beautiful. Warming up. Warming up a bit. The water's lovely. It's such a beautiful color of blue. Just in here floating around. The swell's moving you. You have to show Paul and Carol your floating. You have to show them how it works a different direction too. Oh. Because you can sit in it. Yeah. We've got this on our Amazon page on cruisingcanucks.ca. <laughs> it's your infomercial for the day. Oh my gosh. This is graceful getting into the laying down position. People always ask us about this floaty and we don't know the exact name of it. It's on Amazon. Like I said, we put it on our website. We had so many people asking questions about it, but it's very handy. You can fold it up for the suitcase and yeah. you can lay in it. You can sit in it. It travels well. That's why you're open. Exactly. The only thing it doesn't do is bring you drinks from the bar. <laughs> Time to get ready and get cleaned up. I think the buffet is opening early today on the island. I think 1030 is what they said. So. Let's get dried off before it's time to find some of those cupcakes. <laughs> off in the distance I can see Mrs. Canuck out in the water and Paul and Carol are out there as well enjoying some time at this beautiful beach. Let me show you what I'm looking at right there. There you go. Look at the color of that water. Beautiful. Mrs. Canuck is out there giving uh, fish tour lessons to Paul and Carol. She's waving them over with their camera to see if they can chase some fish. So <laughs> not sure what they're seeing, but they're running after it. Let me see if I can show you. Okay, we are done with the ocean mode. We are heading to the island barbecue. I can smell it already. It's gonna be good. 
We're here at the Island Burger King. Of course, I'm going to look at the desserts first. All those cupcakes. I may have to try each one of those. Salad section. I'm not sure I'm going to waste any space on my plate for salad or not. There's the options. Thank you. Burger face. I went with the jerk chicken on a bun, some fruit salad, and of course a couple of uh, cupcakes for dessert. I did finally go back and get some salad, despite the fact I said I wasn't going to waste space for salad, I did. <laughs> back. Up we go. Watch your step. Feet cam. And oh, we're back. The sand has washed off our feet. We're gonna head up to the cabana. Whew. Very short stop. I find it really odd we haven't met our room store yet. We are a day into the ship, 24 hours, and uh, yeah, still not sure who that is. I hope you can hear me, and that's the first problem with the cabana life. Is that uh, there are speakers in our cabana. We never had this problem before in this ship, but there are speakers up there, full blast. I'm not sure if you can hear me. I hope YouTube doesn't ding me for copyright music because of how loud this is up here. But we just wanted to let you know that yeah, we've, some people have mentioned something about music and the cabanas being too loud, and we've never experienced it, but we are experiencing it right now to the point where we have to kind of yell at each other across the cabana to be able to hear each other. We've had people come visit and say hi, and we've had a tough time speaking to them without yelling. So we've asked the cabana staff if we can turn the music down in this cabana, and they said, no, it's for the whole ship or this whole area, you can't turn it down. So it's tough when you can't listen to an audiobook. I can't talk to you and use a camera. We can't talk to if people want to say hi to us. So, yeah, a very, very disappointing experience so far in the cabana. So we're really hoping that they do something about it. So we have to find someone that'll help us first. And that's been the first challenge, is I didn't see anybody available, guest relations, to have a conversation about it. So, anyways, we're back from Afternoon Tea. Sunny day on the ship. Everybody's at the pool enjoying themselves. Uh, we're hoping to get a drink and solve this music problem. And I hope you get to hear this footage with all the music overhead. So, fingers crossed. We'll see. A little bit of uh, smoky jambalaya, beef stew. Mm, mm, mm. Some sliders. Where to start? Buffet looks yummy today. Wandering to the after the ship. And I think there's a pizza place right here. Ooh, the side door. Look at it. New York pizza. Looks like there are pagers in use. You order your pizza, you get a pager, and then uh, your pizza comes out over on the other side when they give you a call. Hmm. Almost two o'clock. Still busy for lunch time around the ship. I got my internal mic on, so hopefully you can hear me a little bit better over the disco overhead. Don't get me wrong, I like disco, but I want to relax and read an audiobook and just chill out and enjoy the view of the ocean there. Take a look at the view up, Spanna. Yeah, so I want to enjoy that and a little bit of peace without a little bit of that up there, but anyways, I have ordered a pizza to hold me over for the afternoon. Okay, the pizza has arrived. Pepperoni, onion, and mushroom was the choice. Yeah. Here we go. We have a little bit of rosé. We're heading back to the cabin and get ready for dinner. We haven't filmed in the elevator yet. Oh, Our first yeah. elevator footage. First elevator footage. Look, with like how many drink? Drinks. How many drinks do you need in an elevator? This is water. <laughs> this is just because I'm slowly drinking. <laughs> This, was, this is our one for the road. Is that what we're talking? A roadie? A roadie. That's what Carol taught us last night. This is our roadie. Yeah, those are some interesting excuses. <laughs> I got them all down pat, guys. Yeah, beautiful day, though. Nice, sunny, gorgeous weather. Wow. Nice. Compared to how cold I've been at home lately. There's snow at home. Doesn't matter how loud the music is in the cabana, yeah, still it's still not snow. So still a good, <laughs> don't good get us wrong when we say it's kind of weird 
the loud music. It's still wonderful to be on a cruise. Anybody got a free hand to get in the cabin? No. <laughs> we should put the camera down if we're going to get in. Yeah, or I thought you were going to. <laughs> Wish us luck. The keys are in my back on the, like, the... I think little... that means I got to go. People are listening to you already. <laughs> mm -hmm. What to say? Well, we are just finished our day, or short day, very short day at Half Moon. Key, K, whichever way you want to say it. We were all aboard back on at 12.30, but beautiful lovely beach day i was able to see some fish so i'm happy we've been having some internet challenges issues. yes frustrating because it's not working in our cabin we can try to text someone like just an iMessage not even going out so we're talking tech we're not, ta we're not trying to upload videos or stream anything we're just no. trying to get the basics i can't get my email to work even yeah now it works elsewhere on the ship but not in this cabin yeah. specifically yeah <laughs> so we might be mm. hanging out a lot um yeah trying to do some cabana. in the public area well <laughs> So yes, <laughs> the our cabana. cabana, the internet works. But we have the one cabana that has this big speaker that feeds music for the entire pool deck. And so we can barely talk to each other. We already covered that in earlier in the camera. I, I spoke a little bit about cans that. Cans is the name of our cabana if you're looking at booking cans. Don't book cans. Don't look at Well, I mean, you can book. <laughs> if you, I, I mean, if we weren't vlogging, it, I would be fine with the music. The music's been good. It's, yeah. it's, it's not extremely loud that I can't, you know... Well, I mean, it is loud enough that we're having to yell at each other yeah. to talk. But I enjoy music. We love music. So if we weren't trying to vlog, it wouldn't be a big issue, really. Yeah. But trying to turn on the camera, we can't do that in our cabana. Anyways, we should go have a drink. Can yes. you not tell? We need a drink this time. Yes, we're going to go have a drink. <laughs> and we are going to Canaletto. Canaletto. It is the specialty Italian that's kind of embedded in the buffet, buffet. area. Yeah. So that'll be interesting. We'll, we'll check that out and show you what that looks like. Yeah. So we're out of here because we have no internet. So we're going to go see what the rest of you are saying to us online because we have no idea. Yeah, if, if you feel like we haven't been responding this week, there's a reason why. We literally have been trying to respond to messages and think they've gone through and then get a notice a day later that they haven't or six hours later type thing. Yeah, it's just frustrating because, yeah, when, they, when you show up and they're like, oh, do you know how to turn your device on? That's not the problem. It doesn't work in my cabin. Yeah, we wouldn't, if we didn't know how to use an electronic device, definitely we, we wouldn't, wouldn't be vlogging <laughs> on your cruise ship. That's what I felt like telling them that. But, you know, anyways. Rant done. Yeah. We said we the were The rant is go. over. We're out of here. <laughs> yep. Stop looking at us. We'll come back with a smile and a drink. Yeah. <laughs> See you there. All right. Let's go. Just imagine. Ten years ago, we were happy to have internet anywhere on the ship. Now, if we can't have it in our cabin, we need a drink to recover. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening no, to us? Not <laughs> Second, I gotta get this silver spoon out of my mouth before I say another word on this vlog today. Yeah, that's right. oh, off we go. Oh, those shoes are just so striking. Love those shoes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> we are having a debate about which bar to hit. Look at the shoes. We haven't seen the outfit yet. I'm trying to show the dress. Someone's not cooperating tonight. She doesn't want you to see her dress. Anyways, lots of people here, so I can't show you, but that's all you got right there. We've had great success finally. We're at the ocean, what are we, Ocean Bar? Which is Plaza? You see it? Right there. Brown one. Look, guys, it's the first one of the cruise. Lacy or blue for me. Thank you. Let's give them a try. Oh, the mm, Yeah. Oh, he did it perfectly. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> did it perfect, did he? To show you my Crown Royal. Oh, Carol. Did he help? Not yet. Yeah. I needed that. The Italian specialty restaurant. And this is where it's at. It's buried in the buffet a little bit. Something I've never done before. Sit and have a cocktail. In the buffet. As I wait for specialty dining. An interesting setup here with Holland America where the Canaletto is set up at the uh, buffet. In fact, during breakfast and lunch, I believe, they use Canaletto as a kind of spillover seating for the buffet itself. Just waiting for some guests to show up. Then we're going to dive in and see what's there. How's that glacier blue in the buffet? It is. Yeah, in the buffet, right? <laughs> No, oh, but the glacier blue is really good. I tried to teach one of the uh, princess bartenders how to make it, and he didn't make it near as well as the Holland America staff know how to, that's for sure. 
Okay, I am having something you've probably never seen me have on a cruise ship. I'm yeah. having veal. Uh, so veal and sage meatballs is what I'm having. That's right. And I am having something you see me have every time I'm on a cruise <laughs> ship, which is calamari. But this time, they're fried. They're not deep fried, they're pan fried. Okay. Mm -hmm. Or grilled, sorry. Mm -hmm. And some antipasta. Is that how you say it? Yeah, antipasta. Okay, I think mine is, right? Uh -huh. I think I got that right. And I am having the strip loin steak here. Medium rare. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm having the orange blossom ricarda tart. Ricarda? I didn't say that right. You said ricarda. Ricarda. Ricotta. Ricotta. I'm having some English speaking lessons here. Subtitles are available. Yes, I'm going to need them. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Okay. Okay. Drink it, boy. <laughs> oh, Come on. Tastes like fudge. He says that every time. Great, thank you. Yeah. I'm gonna put a three second timer on. Because I've invaded Britain all of a sudden. What's going on here, boys? What's happening, Mr. Canuck? What did you convince Paul to do? Crown Royal for both of us. Woo -hoo. Years old. All right, give it a sip. I, I probably yeah, should have had a pearly beer or something. Hey, hey! <laughs> there we go. We got him teaching the language. We're good guys. Okay, we are done dinner now. We are. Yes. Canaletto. Canaletto. We had a little meal. Yeah, fantastic service. Yeah. yeah. So we are on our way now to the theater. We're gonna yeah. catch a show. First show of the cruise so far. Yeah, come along. Yeah, the, check it out. The uh, people we watch on Billboard on board will be there. And so we're going to uh, <laughs> check them in the show. <laughs> Polly Morgan photobombing us in the back there. <laughs> but we did it two more trips. The third one, we went to Windsor. How was your day in Hawthorne Key today? <laughs> Good. Now, fun fact of the day I was up on the bridge with the captain doing our 1 p.m. all aboard announcement. And from the bridge, we have Half Moon Key, and then you can also see Princess Key, which is Princess Cruise Line's private island. So it turns out that two of their ships didn't get in today because of the wind and the weather, and we were the only ship that managed to get into our private island today. So huge round of applause for the people keep you out late they must be still on a different time zone although their time zone should have them to bed earlier than yeah, us yeah that's right yes yeah you're fine mm -hmm. now we had another wonderful evening on board the new amsterdam yeah yeah we did the specialty dining that you saw and uh, kind of different setup with it being buried into the buffet yeah what did you think <laughs> about that and I didn't really notice that where our seats were and where I was facing, I felt like I was just in any other specialty restaurant, so. Yeah, we, we did luck out in having a nice ocean view yep. uh, table. I think it might have been more yep. 
less authentic if yeah. we weren't at that table. But yeah, I, I really enjoyed it. I had veal meatballs, really good. Some of the best meatballs I think I've ever had. Mm. Then I had some braised beef short rib. But, mm. Mm -hmm. Well, I thoroughly enjoyed what I had. I had uh, started with calamari and we... I ordered an anti-pasta platter for the table that we sort of, a few of us dipped into and then uh, had the uh, sirloin uh, steak for my main course and it was cooked to perfection so it was very delicious. So yeah, from there we went and we saw a main theater show. You saw, uh, you might have saw tiny clips of that and then we went from there to the BB King. BB King. We kind of did a little bit of stopping here and there in between and grabbed a drink and sat down and then went to the next venue when it started up so mm -hmm. didn't see much of that but yeah we went to BB King and uh, a little bit of dancing there we got the final set. Very popular spot if you want to get there early in the evening you have to go in mm, way least, before they start. Way before. We tried to get in 15 20 minutes before their second set and there wasn't a seat in the house. like literally not a seat standing so, standing room only in fact yeah, yeah. So, so we went back for their third set and so we were able to get a seat then yeah so we got the final set and then after that uh once the dancing's done there they carry that on kind of a nice way they do it they turn oh. into kind of a dance club at night and yeah that was nice some of the younger people come out and some of the other people go to bed <laughs> yeah or one of the older people maybe we stayed for two or three songs maybe three yeah but Anyways, it's time for us to be back Bedtime. in the room and going to bed. Yep, Half Moon Key Day is done. Feels like it's been a long day. We kind of had felt like an excursion day and a ship day all blended yeah, into one. Yeah, true. I would agree with that. I felt yep. that way too because we were had to we uh, sailed away relatively early in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. So bedtime and tomorrow's a sea day. We'll show you what's going on tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Hold America always some, has some different type of things during the day, so we'll see how many of those things we can find. Mm -hmm. But get some sleep, and we'll see you in the morning. Good night. Night night.